Bigger on the outside, quiet for around the winter. All right, it's a solar greenhouse update. Finally got the garden uh, planted away. So let's go take a look. All right guys, as we enter the greenhouse, we're gonna see what have we got guys. We've got the zucchinis. They're growing lovely. Look at these babies. These are actually only about uh, six weeks old. And uh, they're just growing pretty good. Back here, what do we got? We've got cucumbers. Those guys, they're uh, getting ready. They're almost ready to be tr uh, trellised. That's awesome. Okay. On this side, what do we got? Oh, here's a row of peas. They're almost ready to be trellised. Down this side, oh, sand just kicked off. Must be getting cool. We've got uh, spinach lettuce in there. Lettuce is taking a little bit to grow here so hopefully he'll come up soon. Here we've got all our tomato plants. Lovely little guys. So I've got uh, two, so I've got eight, sixteen, thirty-two tomato plants here. Which is quite nice. That should give us a good crop. These are peppers. And we've got two, three, six, so 6, 12, 18 of those, which are nice. Green peppers, chives. So this is going to be a pretty nice uh, little greenhouse here in a few weeks. Still got a few tomatoes i got to do something with. And uh, we'll see where they can go. All right, guys. So apparently there's some really good info, uh, news coming out about vaccines for the future. Uh, they're, they're putting vaccine they found a way to actually embed it into plants and they're also making vaccines mRNA vaccines for animals so now you're not gonna have to line up to get a vaccine they're not gonna have to tell you to go get one uh, you're just gonna get it through the food you eat how convenient is that all right guys maybe growing your own food isn't such a good idea because otherwise you won't be able to get your vaccine Hey guys, remember Greater on the Isle of Hadagwai for our own adventure. Take care.